Hello, la hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Bulganin's Soviet Russia, episode 5. As you may have already noticed, I already have much of these puppets. But yet, yeah, I'm still believing, actually, that maybe I could expand puppets in certain areas, like, like, w like with, like with Libya, to get, to also get Egypt, like a Libyan North African Federation. Who knows? But we shall see in the we shall see that Bulganism shall be able to thrive. And I'll be ki and I'll be kicking two birds with one stone, so I'll be declaring war on both Mongolia and Finland, and we'll see how this all goes. So as of the first part, I'm going to make sure I just get these units involved, and oh, I better also build up my industry, my both military and civilian. It's always important to build up your industry, no matter when. Like I said, it's always good to build up the industry because you may not know what'll be coming your way. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's do this war now. Yep, at war with both the Finns and Mongols this time now. Karelia front and the Mongol front. Oh, I almost forgot. I didn't put like any, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go now. I better also add fighters around throughout the entire Soviet Union. Who knows I'm gonna need them. Okay, healing our wounds is finished. Let's see here. Benefits and raises for party cadres. I love this one. <laughs> mm hmm. Finland is almost done for again the second time. <laughs> We're basically finished for. Okay, um, here you go. Keep moving, keep moving. You gotta make these invasions work like clockwork. Okay, Mongolia is that. Okay, for Mongolia, I shall take. Mm hmm, both Mongolia and Finland annexed. Mm -hmm. Ah, the liberation of Finland. Established the Democratic Republic of Finland. Sweet. Under Otto Will Willy Kusin Kusinin. And they're. Let's just assume that they're Bulganinists, because if, if I'm a if I'm a Bulganinism, you have to adopt the ideology. We don't want no Stalinism in this country. Because it's seen as a downfall of our country. Yeah, and I should also focus on my navy now because uh mm -hmm. 
psychological warfare time. Let's see now. Yep, I'm gonna have to make sure I advance my ship technology for the time being. Okay, let's see. First off, I'll uh, basically use um, attack submarines. Around here. Mm-hmm. So I'm building submarines around the Baltic states here, the Lower Baltic and Upper Baltic Sea. And integrating the Far East. And look at this. Even throughout all the wars, we have 93% war support and 100% stability. And, I, and I'm already building, I'm building up my factories to such a large degree that I might be rivaling the U.S. now again. Luftwaffe March Surprises. <laughs> now this is something really neat. Okay, during the 1940s and yada yada, all that stuff, now I got Mongolia integrated in Finland too. Maybe I should invade a new- maybe I should invade neutral Sweden next. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I should. Hmm. Maybe for my next stopover, I should invade Egypt. -y. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah, we integrate Turkestan back into the core union. Finally. Sorry about that. Hmm. All right, time to create the central, the central, the Central Asia front. Yeah, yeah, I know supply issues. I get it. I have 13.72 million manpower, 852 built factories, well, the number's already rising anyway, so, uh... Psychological warfare completed, now let's do operative training, localized training centers. Benefits for party cadre is completed, now let's go on to the next one. Secret deals with foreign companies. Haha, <laughs> this will be a good one. Finally, in finally we're going to reintegrate Cowers Neuarks. I think that's how it's spelled, I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Really, and you suffer from segregation, USA, still? Home of the free, as if. The French commune flag under- The French commune looks something so awkward. It's using the same symbol as this, but it's like an orange cube. Like, is this- Like, what kind of France is this? And it's a divide- And it's still under the divided military. Uh, uh, oh, oh no, no, oh no, Germany. Come on now, you- you're basically invading Poland again, but it's with its modern borders. Oh yeah, I didn't even bother starting Lend Lease with the with the Pol with the Polish. I should have done that a long time ago. I better should start doing that now, otherwise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Warfa land Normally Warfa land would go like this as a large entity Yeah, but Germany is still gonna be too small anyway to like even bully me into submission, so I Don't get I don't get it Maybe I should do like a war with Libya right now. I'm feeling the itch to need to do so Oh, I still have my bombers there. What? Greek Democratic, let's see. Hmm. A ruined economy. I should also help build build ships so that I can be able to like um need to um do do naval invasion so it'll be easier. It'll it'll be a long time, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Cruise Do one over by Crimea so that the distance will be a lot shorter. Yeah, Operation Barbarossa, here we go. I still have my good fleet commanders, at least, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Naval invasion support.
With the added bonus, I also get to invade Tripoli's capital. Wow, the Battle of Warsaw again 2.0, oh my god. You know, maybe in the meantime I'll be able to just uh, also declare war on Afghanistan too. Because why not? I'm getting bored. Yep, now Afghanistan is being invaded by the Soviets. The Soviet Afghan War, but in 1957. Ah, local agent recruitment. Now I can do that. Passive defense. When are those ships even coming? Okay, let's uh, do this. Okay, let's see. Um... Hmm. We shall merge this as one unit and. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that they go there. Afghanistan shall be annexed. The fate of Afghanistan. The liberation of Afghanistan. At last, the so-called Grave of Empires have been subdued by our armed forces. We shall set up a friendly regime. Yes, the Democratic Republic of Afga Afghanistan. Under the Socialists. Or it's under Zukovism, at least. Mm-hmm. The Scarlet Banner over Cabal. I'm loving this. Now I got Afghanistan into the fold. This is going swimmingly. Wait, what's what's the money here that Oh, they have harsh import taxes? Like are you serious? Like, really, harsh import taxes, like, I don't get that. Okay, let's see, uh... Okay, okay, good, we have one, we have one out of a free to help with the British invasion. Well, the Italian invasion of Libya, anyway. Yep. What privatization can only do good? Makes sense. Labor rights and workers, but let's do restoring the union. Throughout the conquest and diplomacy, the splinter governments have been brought down and brought down in the lands of USSR have once again been united under its legitimate government. As we seek to advance into a new age, we must rebuild the state infrastructure of the USSR and its people. Yep, we're gonna have to do that first. Where are my other ships?
Okay, maybe doing that was a horrible idea. Can give us access to ma to naval bases. Okay, that I guess that makes sense. And the German, yeah, Germany's just trying to declare war on all the countries again. I don't get that. Ah, screw it. You know what? Let's just let let's just do it. There we go, and now... There we go, and now we shall invade all of Libya and liberate them. Let's change up the music again. Krakow. Yes, all of Libya has been subdued. Take all the states of Libya and boom. Oh, I can I can recruit in other countries. The fate of Libya. Install a loyal kingdom. The state of Libya. Now I'm even reaching, now I'm basically even reaching more into the... Now I'm basically reaching more into the middle, into the Afri North Africa itself. But maybe I should also form a faction. I, maybe I should. Ah, yes, here we go now. The creation of the Moscow Alliance. The, that I'm the leader of. I should have, I should have thought of this a long time ago. <laughs> hmm. Even it even Austria has a has a non-aggression pact with the Socialist Republic of Italy. Okay, next on the chopping block is Egypt. Form department, and there we go. Although, I do want to make sure I also create like a new uh, theater. So, this will be like for uh, North Africa. And this one is going to be for Central Asia. Okay. for another invasion, boys. <laughs> wow. The Battle of Alexandria. Yep, we are restoring the Union and reformist economics, rebuild, rebuild. Recovering from economic downturn.
create the Asian sector where we're gonna get more agents. Hmm. Okay, you guys can get in on the action. I'm stalemating a bit right here. The fall of Cairo. Mm -hmm. The fall of Egypt is near, everybody. And I think Libya deserves all of Egypt in this case. Mm hmm. The United State of Libya. The, or shall I say, the Libyan Egyptian Union. <laughs> the Moscow Alliance is going swell. Maybe I could also have... You know, maybe I could also have Italy also take Tunisia again. Just for old time's sake. Form the department. The KMT Nationalists under National Conservatism. Mm hmm He, the French Commune and French and Free French Republic are still fighting, and none of them have even made a landing operation against one another. That's just sad. Now for the Middle East, let's. Uh... Yep, we are soldiers, and let's see. Time for a double war conquest again, boys. Now it's time for us to go, lads. March 4th, spread Bulganism wherever you need, need it to go. We shall expand the, the Moscow Alliance. Yeah, just, just move back to where you were. It's not worth it. Socialist Republic of Italy, you'll get Tunisia, while I take all of... Yep. Let's see. The fate of Saudi Arabia. Establish a friendly regime. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what I. Oh, I see what the uh the Italians did. They actually annexed. I got them to get. I gave them Tunisia, and they actually made them as a puppet for themselves as well.
which is kind of surprising when you think about it. I should ex maybe I should expand the borders again. I could expand the borders. I could expand the borders to these two countries. So let's try this one out. Yes. The states in in Yev in Yevitskurad. Really, how long is it gonna take for Both Oman and Yemen have been defeated. Mm-hmm. I'll be I'll be expanding my kingdom of Saudi Arabia puppet. Yes. The Soviet economic age is booming, and I also got a lot more a lot more puppets than I anticipated you know what maybe to hammer it in once and for all maybe I should just like at least some um... hmm actually hold on I might as well try and reunify uh, Czechoslovakia again this time Government ciphering. Okay, I'm gonna need to research a lot more after this again. And yep, finish. So yep, just finish. Support the new private enterprises. <laughs> Wealth check. Check check welfare reforms. Nice. Ah, the Soviet Occupation Committee of Slovakia. Yep. Like, I'm not... Bro, like, come on, Germany. I am already declared war on Czechoslovakia, so... Yeah. Let's see now. Czech Republic is a subject of... The Soviet Union. Okay. Check. Sh poor shame. Decline. I'm not gonna accept your lucrative. Yep, you're rightfully going to. Mm -hmm. Liberation of Czechia, liberate the Czech Republic, and we can find- Ah, 
the Czech Socialist Republic, the unification of Czechoslovakia, the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Haha, -ha. a united Czechoslovakia. Hmm, <laughs> I love this so far. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Germany? My, <laughs> because you ain't got nowhere else to expand. Great power designs? Hmm. Maybe I should also get, have, a, have China as a puppet as well. I should try that. Okay, I puppeted... Okay, I puppeted China, but uh, it's still giving me Chiang Kai-shek as an imprisoned leader, which... I don't understand that. Normally I thought China was supposed to be... But like, like this, like, come on. To my friend that actually suggested me to actually try to puppet China, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna have to deal with. I'm sorry. But hey, at least Bulganism has spread to mainland Asia, of to the mainland Asian tiger. So like, yeah, and it also, and it also forms a ring around. The countries. Anyway, I might as well stop this video here for now because, uh, yeah, like all of this expansion is like, oh boy, it's crazy. But Bulganism still lives on, lads. Comment down below if you actually want to see episode 6 where I actually really do expand Bulganism into Southeast Asia. The, the Indian subcontinent, and even further down in Africa. Comment down below, and I'll see you comrades next time.